Hello children, how are you today? So do you know that it is no longer the season of spring? We've had autumn where the leaves changed colour and they fell to the ground. We've had the season of winter when it was very chilly chilly and it got dark very early and we wore hats and scarves and we sang songs about snowmen and then we had spring when we had flowers like daffodils they're the lovely yellow flowers that grow up and snowdrops and we spoke about nests and the birds and now children at the weekend it became what we call summer when you might be wearing shorts and t-shirts and eating ice cream or perhaps you've got a paddling pool in your garden and you're going for splishes and splashes and you may notice that there's lots of beautiful plants growing and I've noticed that one of mine which is called an orchid is flowering and it's got these beautiful hello paddy these beautiful 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 little flowers growing on it so we're very lucky that this orchid is flowering now something that you might be able to do when it's warm and um, hot is you might be able to do something called going camping um, and that's when you, maybe you've got a tent and you sleep outside in it and you might have barbecues and bonfires. Um, so I thought we'd have a story today about, it's similar to camping, it's the best I could do. I haven't got Shirley Hughes, Alfie goes camping at home. So sorry about that. Um, so I've got another story instead for you. But for now, here's Purdy and she'd like to join us for our story. So shall we put our seatbelts on? So we can be safe. Check your flaps. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Check your fuel. Click, 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 click. Check your boosters. Vroom! And we call out. Chocks away! We go 10, 9, 8, 7, it's all right, Paddy, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. She says, Don't leave me behind, let me come with you. Blast off! The great thing about going camping is that if you have got any pets like dogs, you can take them with you. So that would be a nice thing to do. I'm not going camping. I'd like to go camping, but I'm not going camping. So here we are, children. Here's our story for today. It's called Sleep Tight Little Bear, which is sometimes something that children struggle to do in the, wind, in the summer because it's so light. And you say to mummy and daddy, but it's not summer. It's not dark. I'm just checking out what light book I have. Sorry, children. It's not dark. It's not bedtime. I don't want to go to bed. Yet if it was winter, it'd be dark by now already. So, you know, maybe this story will help you to think about going to sleep. Yes, Purdy. So here we go. Sleep tight, little bear. Once. There were two bears, Big Bear and Little Bear. A Big Bear is the Big Bear and Little Bear is the Little Bear. And one day they went out to play. Little Bear went out to play and Big Bear was very, very busy. Looks like Big Bear is doing cleaning. She's got a duster in her hands and she's polishing the lanterns. The little bear is going to go out to have a little play. Oh yes, look, Big Bear's got a feather duster, so she's definitely doing the cleaning. Little Bear climbed up the rocks above the bear cave. There was a place there, a little bear sized, or just a bit bigger. <gasps> I could have my own bear cave in here, thought Little Bear with a bed and a table 
and a chair. It would be very, very exciting. So he's having a plan. Maybe you're having a plan today. Little bear, called Big Bear, looking out of the bear cave. Little bear, little bear, called Big Bear, coming out of the bear cave. Little bear, called Big Bear, but he couldn't see little bear. I'm up here, Big Bear called. climbed up the rocks above the bear cave and little bear showed big bear his cave. So he's making a den, a bit like a tent. That's my bear chair and my table and this is my bed, little bear said. Oh, it is a good cave, said big bear. I need lots more things, Little Bear said. What's he collecting? Can you see? Sticks and leaves, isn't he? And some flowers. And a log. He's furnishing his special den, his special tent, his special cave. Whatever you want to call it. Big Bear helped Little Bear carry things up the rocks to the cave. So he's got his blanket and a photograph. It's always very important to have some special things that make you feel cosy and safe and his special cuddly toy. Little Bear played all day in his cave. Little Bear swept his cave. Look, he's using a branch from a fir tree. Little Bear read his book upside down whoops little bear made his bed and little bear jumped on his bed a bit like the naughty little monkeys jumping on the bed one fell off and bumped his head luckily little bear didn't bump his head called Big Bear. Oh, could I have my supper up here? Little Bear asked. Hmm, well, said Big Bear. Please, Big Bear, Little Bear said. Well, all right, Little Bear, said Big Bear. Looks like they've got berries and yoghurt. Mmm, I've got lots of tables growing in my garden, which are a bit like raspberries. They're very nice with yoghurt. And Little Bear had his supper in his own little cave. Then it was bedtime. Oh, can I sleep up here? Little Bear asked. All right, Little Bear, said Big Bear. And he tucked Little Bear up into bed. Sleep tight, Little Bear said Big Bear. I'll be in the bear cave if you need me. Big Bear prodded all the way back down the rocks to the bear cave without Little Bear. He's looking a bit like we're going on a bear hunt. She's not looking very happy, is she? She's feeling a bit sad and a bit lonely. Little Bear sat up in bed and looked around. <gasps> I'm in a big bear in a cave on my own, Little Bear told himself. Little Bear looked out of his cave at the moon shining through the dark trees. Hmm. Big Bear might be lonely without me thought Little Bear. Little Bear climbed out of bed. Mm. I wonder if Big Bear's missing me. Little 
little bear said to himself. Then he went to see Big Bear. I think Little Bear's missing Big Bear too. You forgot to read me my story, Big Bear, Little Bear said, climbing up on the bear chair. Ooh, I'll read to you now, said Big Bear. Did you miss me, Big Bear? Little Bear said. <laughs> oh yes, I missed you a lot, said Big Bear. I could stay here tonight so that you won't be so lonely, said Little Bear. I'd like that a lot, Little Bear, said Big Bear. And Big Bear read Little Bear the bear book by the light of the fire. Big Bear sat in the bear chair with his arms close around Little Bear till the logs and the fire had burned low. Sleep tight, Little Bear, said Big Bear. But Little Bear was already fast asleep, having a cuddle. Go, children. If you perhaps build a den or a snug or go camping in your garden, whatever you get up to, I hope that you'll manage to get a good night's sleep. And for now, Purdy and I are going to say that it's time to go home. So tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, when the big hand reaches number 12. Tick tock, tick tock. hand reaches number 12 it means it's 12 o'clock which means it's time to go home bye bye children